Well, hello everyone. This is Sir Instructor Wrong. I wanted to talk to you about something. I wanted to talk to you today about, well, your phone and the apps that are out there available. Okay, so there's a lot of apps out there available, but you, let's say, is Sir or somebody else may be just interested. What are some really good apps that might apply to what we're doing? Now, I've covered some of that in some of the other videos that I've done, but I'm going to talk specifically about that. Well, one of the apps that I would highly recommend if you're going to do any type of communication is going to be Zello. Now, there might be other programs out there that you may like better, but Zello is really good, very popular. It's been out now a number of years, so it got a lot of the bugs worked out. And every once in a while, I will tell you there's a problem with Zello. Um, maybe you can't type a message or something, so you need to turn your phone off, restart it, whatever. So, other than that, it's been a very good program. Uh, I hadn't really had any major problems with it. Just got to make sure you, you do those updates and things every once in a while. You, know, you can look at things like Skype and uh, there's other programs out there as well that you can use for communications. Now the thing that's neat about Zello is that you can create these groups for your team or whatever and put everybody in that, that uh, particular channel. Once you create that channel and or group, whatever you want to call it. But uh, you, once you create that channel then you can lock it down and keep people out. They're going to have to have a password to get in. So. Uh, you know that way it's going to keep people just randomly from jumping in your channel so that's a good thing about it now there's other things like Skype um, another really good app that a lot of people like to use as well is um, WhatsApp WhatsApp is really good you can send messages to it and do groups so that's another good one um, then we want to look at things like how do we track people well when I say track them I don't mean in a bad way I'm just saying how do we keep up with people so they know where they're at uh, there's, there's things that you can do you can get uh, uh, some Life 360 app, I think is what it's called, and I've used it before, but it really drains a battery, at least it did in my opinion. So we started using Spotter Network. Now, you have to go through on Spotter Network and take a course, and of course this is weather related. Go through, and you can obtain a beacon that way and, and see where you are. Now, um, once you get that beacon, basically you're going to have to have that app or an app that supports Spotter Network to see exactly where people are. It's a good reason to get involved in the storm spot and get that app. You can turn reports in too directly to the NWS regarding many things. So that's a really, really good app. So there's a good number of apps out there that, that can be used. Now, if you're a ham radio operator, uh, it even gets better because you've got things like APRS and uh, Peanut and then Echo Link are some of the apps that are out there. Now, APRS stands for Automatic Packet Reporting System, so it tells exactly where you are. Now, what's really neat if you're a ham radio operator is that if you have Spotter Network, you can link your APRS with your Spotter Beacon. So there's also Chaser Locator is a really good app too once, once you get your uh, Spotter Beacon and it'll, it'll help keep your, your beacon up to date. So there's a lot of really good apps out there. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about some of those apps today and how they're actionable to what we do. Now, uh, one app that I would definitely recommend for anybody who's going to be involved with CERT, potential search and rescue, is Dioptra, is one, and Theodolite. Now, these two apps are really unique, and I'll tell you why, because they're, they're a camera and app. You take a picture of an object, and it's going to give you the longitude and latitude. So, let's just say you're working a tornado disaster, um, you need additional help, but you have no idea maybe exactly where you are. Well, if you take a picture, it's going to give you the longitude, the latitude, and the time, and Perhaps you could send that picture. Now, I've been told, haven't tried it, um, that it'll work without cell service. I cannot say that is true, cannot say it isn't. But in any case, if it does, and you're able to use that app, you're going to know exactly where you are. So, well, maybe the street doesn't matter. They punch in your coordinates and they know where you're at. So, Theodolite is one, and Dioptra. Dioptra for uh, Android driven devices and then iPhones for Theodolite. So, um, those are really good apps. I learned about them when I took. Um, wide area search they talked about using those apps so I've used it some um, we went out one time and worked with some people serving a warrant and uh, we kind of led the, the uh, search team and so that was something that we used so it told us exactly where we were so it's a really good app I'd highly advise that one um, there are compass apps and things like that that'll do it you may need one of those on your phone but you definitely need to know where you are uh, anyways so those are some of the apps that I would highly recommend as cert or just general public Again, each of those can serve you in some way, get familiar with them, but the most important thing you got to do is communicate. So look at some of those communication apps, let me know what you think, and please um, like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. 
I'm going to be doing more things, covering a lot of different things in the future. So just let me know what you'd like to see us cover. Well, that's all I've got for now. And have a wonderful, blessed day.